Hi, this is Bernard Farrell of Bernard's Diabetes Technology blog. We all know that an A1C test is an important tool in the fight against diabetes complications. I'm going to show a short video using the home check A1C test from Diabetic. Now, I'm a friend with the owner, Kevin. He's a diabetes blogger also, but that's not the reason I'm using this test. I wanted to see how accurate it was, and as I try and improve my blood sugar control, I thought it was an important thing to have. It costs about $30. You see what you think of how easy it is to use, and um, leave me any comments. And as always, check back with my diabetes technology blog to see the latest developments in diabetes and technology. Thanks. The kit itself arrives in a fairly neat rectangular box, and when you open the end of it, what you get inside is a, um, a pre-stamped nailer to return the uh, sample in. And it's a bit like a Russian doll. When you open that, you get what they call a workstation. And the workstation is what you use to um, actually hold the sample while you're taking it from your blood. While you're taking it and um, then also you're going to mail it back inside this. So the, inside the, um, the workstation is a little Ziploc bag containing a um, lancet for taking um, <coughs> the finger stick with and then a little um, tube to pull the blood sample up in and um, also a little um, test tube to put the, the blood sample back into and uh, that's what you mail back inside this Ziploc bag. It also comes with a form, two-part form, and you fill one part out with your name and address, and, um, and then you keep the yellow part, and you return the white part back to them. So, let's open the little Ziploc bag and see what's inside. This is the little test tube that we're going to use to return the sample in. And they want to, they call it a vial. They want you to put the vial inside here. So it holds it. And then the other two things are this little capillary tube and a little squeezer here that you're going to use. You're going to suck this up here, and then when you have it filled up to the line, suck the blood sample up to the line here. You're going to uh, hold it over the open uh, vial and squeeze the bulb. So it's important not to squeeze the bulb while you're getting the blood sample. Then squeeze it after it's been filled up to here into the workstation. And it also comes with this little Lancet device. Now I've used it before and um, if it's the same as last time I know it'll be pretty painless. Uh, one important note before doing um, an A1C check, please be sure to wash and dry your hands I've already given them a good scrubbing because I was working out in the yard. So this thing is already pre-primed and ready to go. Um, I don't know if it shows on the videotape, my fingers are pretty badly scarred from continuous blood samples. So instead of using the sides of my fingers, which I would normally do for less pay, I'm going to use the tip here. So it's pre-primed, I hope. Okay, a little bit of a sting, but really not too bad. I'm going to squeeze it. Oh. Here's a nice sample of blood. And I'm going to put this end here against the blood sample. I'm trying not to squeeze it. I hope I haven't squeezed it too much. Maybe I need a bit more blood. You do need a very substantial drop of blood for this to work properly. There we go. Now it's filled up. Of course, I'll lick my finger again. Then I'll take this open vial and I'll squeeze that sample back into it. There's already some liquid in there. I don't know exactly what its purpose is. So I guess I should have thought of a tissue to put the uh, the, the sampler on. Then I'm going to shake it up. I don't know whether that's strictly necessary. But I like to do that anyway. And now that I'm done of course, I'm going to dispose of this carefully because it's got blood on it. I'm just simply going to put the pre-filled vial, the caps on firmly, back inside the Ziploc. And then 
I'm going to put the, the Ziploc bag inside the workstation. And I'm going to put the pill, filled out form in the workstation also. And then I'm going to put it in this box and send it back to a health cordia. Uh, now, if the last time is any example, within five or six days, I'll get the, uh, the results of my A1C back by email. So, um, the whole kit costs about $30, including postage and packing. I think that's a pretty good um, price, considering that some of you will probably pay a $30 copay to have um, an A1C t test done in your doctor's office. I've used this uh, before, and the last time I used it, it gave me a very good example, a very good um, uh, result compared to my doctor's office. And uh, hopefully I'll get the same result this time too.